Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I bought a bourbon golf cart. Okay guys, so welcome to the golf cart rebuild. So just to start off, I'm gonna give you a quick walk around of the golf cart before we've done any work. I just pulled it in because it's grating outside. And as you can see, it's an EasyGo RXV. I think it's a 2008, I'm not sure. It's gonna need quite a bit of work. So the motor right in here, which should be there, is out there. And that's because the motor is broken. So we're going to have to get a new motor. We're going to upgrade the electrical system. So this thing is going to be pretty quick. And then that's probably the first major repair we're going to do. Another thing we have to do is we're going to take all this bodywork off. And then we're going to go ahead and power wash and clean, get rid of any rust that's on the chassis itself. We have uh, some aftermarket lights on the golf cart over here. There's three of them. I'm gonna put them, I think I wanna put them on the front bumper so it looks like a rally car. Uh, we got some suspension. It's just super dirty in here. I don't know if you can see, but it's really dirty. A lot, a lot of dirt. Came from a construction site originally. This seat has seen better days. The roof is pretty destroyed, but uh, I have a new roof for it already. Holy cow. There is now a wasp on the roof, which is not fun. I'll take care of that in a second. Uh, and just about everything else looks like this, this will be a fun rebuild. I'm now going to take off the roof, get rid of the wasp, and we're going to take the roof to the dump ground. So it's the next morning and off camera what I did is I took off this front hood partially. I can't take the other part off because I have to figure out how to loosen these bolts right here. I don't have the exact bit. I gotta find something that I'm going out to Home Depot later. Uh, and I have, I took off the, uh, the lower seat part because that's kind of junk and we're gonna get a new one or re fabricate a new one on our own. Uh, today I hopefully want to try and get this out. And then the first thing is we're going to get this out. I just got to unloosen the horn bolt there, which has gone into this pillar, so I can't get it out. Uh, I'm going to push it outside, and let's get back to work.
Okay, so it's now the next day. I had to run a few errands uh, over the course of the day, so it's kind of the evening now. But yesterday I got a lot of work done off camera. As you can see, my phone died, so I couldn't record it. But I lifted the entire back bodywork off, so now the whole rear end is exposed. There is a bit more rust than I thought, kind of all over the car. We'll probably have to fix a good chunk of that. Uh, I also took off the front bumper, the side skirts here, and I took off the floor. I've almost finished disconnecting the wiring harness so we can get ready to put in and order our new one just to make sure we don't have any electrical issues with the old one. And we're also going to get ready to order the upgraded speed controller and motor to make this thing go really fast. Uh, yeah, let's get to work. Okay, so it's a, a few days later and I haven't gotten a ton of work done on the golf cart. I have done uh, some power washing, but we are out of gas. A lot of the dirt, especially the stuff you can see underneath the golf cart, doesn't want to come off even with the power washer, so we may have to go in with a wire brush and try and clean that out. This whole pan, floor pan, should just come right out. Now, I, I've been trying to do that, but I've encountered a lot of resistance from a few bolts that are completely rusted up, like that bolt there. That bolt has been loose now, and then there's two bolts there that are probably pretty rusty. I haven't tried them yet. But then I have two bolts over there, and those two bolts are not coming out at all either. I've tried WD-40, it hasn't worked, so we're probably going to have to drill them out. Another problem we have is this bolt right here to get off the bumper has somehow, it's just not coming out. It's, it's moving, but it's not coming out of the thread. Uh, so today I'm going to try and see how many bolts I can get loosened using a drill out method. And then uh, I'm going to probably not get much work done because I'm going to go in, back inside and order a bunch of parts. So let's get back to work. Anyways, as you saw in the last uh, time lapse, I have been trying to remove this screw right here. I'll just use my drill to give it a bit of a light right there, and it is just not coming out. Now what's happened is that there's a bolt that's been welded onto the frame that the screw goes into, but that weld has pretty much broken because of uh, over time. And the uh, what's basically happened is that the bolt and is rusted onto the uh, screw and the screw is not coming out. So that's just spinning pretty much freely in there. I've been trying to use the washer to grind down the plastic, but I've done that, it, it, the bumper isn't coming out. So this is probably, I'm just gonna have to go buy an angle grinder and chop off the bolt. Uh, that would also be good because angle grinders would be very helpful in treating the rust on this golf cart, which is certainly a bit of a problem. So really all I have to do now is just gonna be going and finishing removing this pan, this lower body pan to get, it, to get access to the frame underneath it to check for rust. But once again, that requires removing more bolts that are rusted and they are not wanting to come out. 
So who knows, we may have to drill them out, which would be really unfortunate, because that would take forever. Or we could just try and angle grind them out too. I'm not sure about that one right there. We may have to drill that one out, maybe even all of them. But we'll see. Anyways, uh, for now, uh, I think this is going to be the end of the video. I'm not going to be able to get much more work done on the golf cart itself without getting those uh, screws out, which require a tool I don't have right now, and I can't go to the store and get that easily because of the quarantine we're in. So uh, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching episode one of the golf cart project. And uh, episode two will be um, released shortly, and I'm going to go and send an order some parts.